Hi, my name is Jill Ingle, and I'm here today to tell you about the Village Arts Factory, where yesterday meets tomorrow. This is a 14-acre piece of property with three buildings. So let's start with yesterday first. Back in the early 1900s, Henry Ford was building 19 village industries. These were mini factories outside of Dearborn and Detroit, Michigan. 18 of these village industries were for off-season farmers, so they had a place to earn income while their crops were not in season. His last and most unique village industry is actually right behind me with a factory and a dormitory. This was a place where disabled World War II veterans were able to receive rehabilitation and they were able to receive training. Henry Ford wanted them to have a place to heal, he wanted them to have a place to learn, and he wanted to provide them a place of peace and serenity that they could renew their self-worth. What he was doing was creative economy and philanthropy at its best, all together wrapped in one. Along with those two buildings, also on our property, is a vacant 32,000 square foot industrial factory and eight and a half acres of wildlife and forest. So let's talk about tomorrow and what's being done with this property. Tomorrow is a dormitory that will provide healing and art programs for veterans. Tomorrow is a factory that will provide education and arts for students. Tomorrow is a warehouse that will provide a place for artists. Next came 2015 and the turning point for the partnership as we took our ideas on paper and turned them into action. That year, we raised the funding for the dormitory renovations, the site demolition, and additional construction preparations. This included asbestos abatement on the entire site, interior demolition in the dormitory and factory, removal of 12,000 square feet of warehouse that originally attached the factory to the warehouse, and roof stabilization on the warehouse. All of these tasks were completed by early 2016. We received letters of support from state, county, and township officials, along with contributions from organizations and companies such as Motor City's National Heritage Area, the Jeffress Family Foundation, Pulte Homes, Pinnacle Homes, Singh Development, Masco Corporation Foundation, Mann's Lumber, Canton Township, and the Ford Fund, just to name a few. Just ask the president of the Ford Motor Company Fund, Jim Vella, so the Ford Motor Company Fund is very happy to be supporting the Village Arts Factory program and the project for a couple of different reasons. One is obviously the leadership of the group, Jill Engel and her team are doing a great job. And what we look for in projects like this is are we look for the passion, the dedication, the talent and the vision. And I think that's all there in this project. But just as importantly, we look at the mission of the project. And obviously there's a great tie to Henry Ford and the Ford Motor Company and the work that Henry Ford did throughout the company, throughout his whole career, that we carry on at the, at the Ford Motor Company Fund today. So this is a program where we're actually working with the project to help make people's lives better in the Canton community. Many of our residents live in Canton. So it's a project whether you're using a veteran that's gonna use the facility or an arts person who's gonna use the facility or maybe just a family that one uses one of the riding trails. It's an opportunity for the community to come together make people's lives better, and have a vision for a better future. Thanks so much, Jim. Today, two years after creating our original plans, we have stayed true to our vision. The dormitory will offer proposed programs such as clinical, art and music therapy for local veterans and their families. The large industrial warehouse will be repurposed to provide studio space of all sizes complemented by a food and beverage destination. The studios will be the home to a wide variety of public art, such as photography, pottery, painting, jewelry, woodworking, glass, fabrics, and many, many more. Today, I'd like to tell you about the history, plans, and progress that we have made with our Veterans Dormitory. So let's give you an update on what the partnership has accomplished so far. The very first task of the construction prep was actually interior demolition. Next up were the windows, which are the original windows that needed to be preserved. In 2016, the partnership connected with an organization called Zero Day. They offered paid apprenticeship opportunities to Michigan's veterans. Early in 2017, Zero Day was back at the dormitory again, 
to gather all of the exterior doors and kitchen cabinets. They were loaded onto a trailer and taken to the workshop to complete. That same spring, the entire interior of the dormitory was reframed by APCOR Construction and Development. Plumbing was completed, insulation was done, the drywall was hung. It was actually starting to look like a dormitory again. In October, 25 volunteers from the Ford Motor Company came to spend the day with us. Their project was to paint the entire dormitory in just one day. It was an amazing group effort. As we entered 2018, DTE Energy completed the gas hookup for the heat to be turned on and man's lumber and millwork was able to install the interior doors and trim throughout the entire building. Hi everyone, it's Jill Engel from The Partnership, here today to give you an update on the Village Arts Factory. I am happy to share with you that we have completed all site work at the Veterans Dormitory, including the main entry walkway, landscaping, and water and sewer connections. The biggest change by far over this past year is that we completely redesigned the parking. Instead of two smaller parking lots, we developed one larger parking area for the complex. This meant we needed a new site plan, had to demolition half of the warehouse, reinforce the bridge over the river, and reapply for permits with the township, the county, and Michigan DEQ. Even though this decision set back our construction timeline, it was the most fiscally responsible choice, and it will provide more opportunities for the Ford factory. Next, due to several inquiries for artist studio space, we shifted gears and put our focus into finishing the Arts Warehouse next. Tasks accomplished so far include architect plans, foundation repair, new roof and exterior improvements. We also signed our very first tenant, the Cherry Hill Potters Guild, for a 4,000 square foot studio. And they also requested a 10 year lease. So what are the goals for the rest of 2019? Our top priority is opening and occupying the dormitory and the arts warehouse, then completing the exterior rehab for the Ford factory and site work west of the river. The final task this year being the blueprint for the eight acres south of the buildings, which will include the walking and bike trails, floral and sculpture gardens, nature observation areas, and much, much more. That's our update for now. Stay tuned and continue to follow us on social media and our monthly newsletter. Thanks again, everyone. Together, we will make this vision a reality.